Hi, it's David Gaum in the Stained Glass Studio, and first of all, I wanted to talk about a little bit about when we moved into this house. Now, when we moved in, there was very little character. And now we're going to show you some, you know, usually on a, on a video or something, you'll do a before and an after. But we're going to have to show you sort of the after, because this is now and we're going to have to show you what happened before. Well, right behind me you see these windows hanging. And this used to have these funky columns that, that went up. And I'm hoping I can find a picture of those columns because they were really dated and they did not look very good. But what we did was we took them out and put up a big uh, a board up above and then we were able to hang stained glass there and so we felt like we added to the character of the home. Now if you notice the um, the light, that was Jeannie's Christmas present one year. I made her this mission style God, I don't know, chandelier and, and, uh, and so that was one of the pieces that, that we had. Now when we first moved in here, there was not a, an opening between the kitchen and the living room. And you'll notice that the trim that we have all around the, uh, the hole is mission style. That, uh, you know, the board is butted up to another board and it hangs over a little bit. And there are, there's a little uh, skinny piece that goes around down here on the ledge. See how the ledge runs up to the edge of the wall and then continues on. And that's just kind of a mission element. And so, well, I'm telling you about this because we feel like these things add to our home. They really give it more character. Now, Early on in my life, I did not even know what craftsman style design was, and I didn't know what uh, mission style was. Craftsman and mission style are almost identical. And then Frank Lloyd Wright, you know, the architect that uh, Simon and Garfunkel sung about. Um, you know, architects may come and architects may go and never change your point of view. That was Frank Lloyd Wright. And um, he came up with a, a, a style of decor called prairie style. And prairie style is almost identical to mission and craftsman. All three of those are very, very similar. Um, his had little tiny squares in the incorporated in the stained glass and the little tiny squares were often made to look like wheat stalks and uh, looked like something you might find out on the prairie and so that's why his are called prairie style did you want to show the kitchen cabinet um, handles Jeannie? yeah Okay, and when we get back onto uh, training, we're going to do a couple of uh, tips. We're going to show you how to, uh, another tip on how to use a T-square glass cutter so you can get straight lines. Because you need straight lines when you're doing Mission and Craftsman Prairie. Sometimes you'll get a little tulip shape, but a lot of very straight lines. So we'll come back to that in just a bit. Well, you can see that we do like craftsman style. We put this light in, which is kind of a craftsman style. The dining room table and chairs are, what, mission style? Or are they craftsmen? I'm not sure. The end, the sideboard also, ha it even has the uh, 
the hardware type that is familiar. Now then, um, we put shutters over here, over this window, and so these are more not Art Nouveau, but the shutters themselves are kind of a craftsman style. And they let us, uh, we can close this, and then we can get a nice, we get all the light coming in, but we, but it, it softens it, and it, it comes out a lot more pretty. Here's a frame, a picture frame that I did. We did this as a painting that Lindy Mott did, and Lindy is one of our favorite artists, and we did some stained glass work for her. She did this beautiful painting. Here's Jeannie and our and our daughter and our granddaughter Aurora. And now over here, oh, this piece here um, didn't have the same look that it did. I cut off this piece up top, flattened it, rounded it, and put a more square piece of mirror in here so that it would have closer to the mission style look. And then we, uh, chain, we put in the stained glass so that it would, you know, look fabulous. <laughs> uh, now we'll go across. So eventually I want to replace this front door with a piece that's got some glass in the front. And I'll show you what kind of design we want. I built this mission style piece. Now, over here, there wasn't a fireplace when we moved here. So we installed the fireplace, and nobody's going to believe this. It took me five years to install the fireplace. Uh, Jeannie can believe it because she had to live through it, <laughs> and so I was pretty slow. Oh, let's see, one thing I didn't show you was that um, there used to be a wall back over there, and that dining room was a bedroom. So we took out that wall, and, we, and there were doors and closets and stuff that came out. And over here, here's the... Now the mantle is, um, has got little wood decorations, and they're just, just little square things. This is some zebra wood, this was something um, else, and I don't remember what it is anymore. Down here we have just some little blocks. And now we're going to show you... these pieces down here. They're backlit with three pieces of glass, or three, three cabinet lights behind the glass. When we first put them in, they, the, the cabinet lights burned right through. So I took the glass, sandblasted the back of it, put it back in, and then it wasn't, uh, there wasn't such a burn through. Now you may notice this design kind of mirrors this design here. That's what our intention is, is to take this design from this tile and we'll build a window to go into the new door eventually. So that's kind of a, a, an idea as to what kind of styling we're going for. You know, this is really craftsman style or bungalow style um, design to have the green square tiles and so we wanted to go with something that was very traditional and a lot of times they put a bookcase on either side and we put one on one side and then we have this little yeah it's a screen and uh, we put the screen on this side there's actually a mission style lamp back here and uh, there we go that's kind of the this room and this room is more uh, decorated than any other place in our house as far as what we want but it has a lot of more character than the house did before when we moved in 
let's see, there is a, uh, and one other thing, stained glass people have to surround themselves with stained glass. And up here, this is our porch light. I had some guys build a, a framework to hold the glass. And now, I, and, I, and then we screwed it in and then dropped the stained glass panels into it so it would look more mission style. It works great. At night when it's dark, that one light bulb just illuminates the, uh, the porch light and it looks really great. Well, okay, we've gone over a quite a number of styles that all overlap. We've talked about Frank Lloyd Wright and his prairie style movement. We've talked about the bungalow or craftsman. And we've talked about mission style. See, they're all very, very similar. And you've had a chance to see quite a number of stained glass pieces that we've made. So that kind of gives you an idea as to some of the uh, ideas that you might want to research to come up with stained glass patterns that you yourself are interested in. Um, like I said earlier in the video, we are planning on doing a little bit of training so you'll know how to do some of these styles being able to do those nice straight lines that you'll need. And so I hope this has been fun. It's been fun for me to sh sort of show off what, uh, what we've done over so the last few years in our home. And uh, maybe it'll spark some ideas for you. Thanks for being with us. And we look forward to having you join us on future videos. See ya.